So here is the official before tour of my entry closet. Sorry it's a little dark, but there's no good natural lighting at all in this corner. So um, I just wanted to show you before what it looks like. It's an L-shaped closet, um, which is unique and interesting, but I've got some bins up there, more bins, and I've got some extra like paper towels and stuff. Over here, um, I think this is gonna stay right where it is, but I'm not 100% sure yet. I just have like a little hanging thing with a bunch of organization. Down here is like a hot mess of stuff that just needs to be gone through. Some things need to be like thrown in the trash. Some things need to just be put in its proper place. And then over here, I've got like more boxes and things that just either need to find their own home or all that good stuff. Um, all the jackets, I'm going to probably be keeping everything. I'm gonna look through it all anyways. I don't have a ton of different outerwear, but you know, just in case. And um, yeah, so this is the official before tour. Let's roll to the after. All right, friends, so the closet is finally complete. I am so, so excited about this organization. And I just wanted to share with you in a little bit more detail where everything I, you know, like where I got everything and all that good stuff. I did repurpose some items, as you can see from the previous clip. Some of the things are still in here and some of the things are not. And I added a couple of little elements as well. So like I said before in the other clip, this is an L-shaped clip closet and um, my doors are like these little bifold doors. I will shut one of them for you so you can see. I have another one over here. But um, yeah, this is like a very interesting, unique, because basically I have to work with a triangle. So let's start at the top and then we'll work our way down. These bins, I think I got at Target or Amazon many moons ago. I actually emptied one of the bins and then this one is all of my outerwear. So like all my mittens and hats and gloves and scarves and things like that for the winter in Minnesota. I also have my backpack up here. Um, I will link as many things as I can find down below. I actually got that on Amazon. And the little ID tag I actually got on erincondren.com. So a link will be below for that as well. Over to the right is all of my paper products. This is just a great place to put them. Um, these are all of my paper towels. My favorite is the Viva ones. If I can find them on Amazon, I'll link them down below. They're like amazing. And then all of my to extra toilet paper is up there. I already stocked both of my bathrooms with the toilet paper. And moving down, this is where some changes happened over here. I actually got this little rack on Amazon and it's really nice. Like you can kind of put any sized handle in here, which I find kind of amazing. And then these little things clip down so you can hang stuff on them. So I'm just really loving this. And I've been using this in my home for about a week now and I really, really like it. So I have a little duster and a little sweeper here. I also have a lighter. And then I have some room to grow if I want to bring anything else into the home. And then over to here on the left hand side, I got this like really, I got it when I moved in and I moved in like a year ago, guys. Um, it has been sitting in the closet, not hanging up for a year. So way to go, Emily. I actually got it from Target. It is the Threshold brand. If I can find it, I'll link it. If I can't find it, I'll link something similar. If I can find something similar, I just have some extra keys right here. Nothing very exciting, but just somewhere to put them. As we move down, down. I actually have a tripod right there. This is not the overhead tripod that I normally use for like my hand videos. It's a different tripod. So if I can find that, I will link it down below. And then I have these weights. These weights are actually really cool. Um, they're like interchangeable. So you can change the weight of the weights, if that makes sense. Um, I believe I got them at Amazon a few years back. And then this bin, which I could not find a place for this. This actually got added to the closet. The bin didn't the bin was already in the closet, but it was empty. And I was going through some stuff in the kitchen and I was like, you know what? This just needs to go in the closet because I don't want this stuff out in the garage. So I'll show you what's in here. This is a bin from Ikea and I'll give you the info is right there. It is all of the paper products. So like straws, plates, uh, utensils, and then I also have a bunch of napkins in here. So I just thought that this would be great. Plus, plus 
plus, <laughs> there is a plus, um, I have a safe in here as well, but the nice thing is when I need to access that, I can always, you know, pull this in or pull that out. So very easy, it's all on casters and I love it. We have the white safe, which is not really mine, but it is mine, but that's a whole long story. Over here to the right is a little light that my dad gave me, so it like, woo, goes like that. Sorry, it's like screwing with the focus now. Sorry about that, you guys. But um, he wants me to like hang it up, but I really don't want to. So I don't know, I'm just gonna leave it there for now. I have some storage bins with a couple of different storage elements in there. These are from Pottery Barn maybe like a decade ago, but I think they were listed at, or I should say listed as like photo boxes. Um, but I just like the nice neutral color. They're really, really sturdy. They've held up a lot over time. I've never changed the outside of them. I probably should. And then I have a little light in here. I actually tried to turn this on just today and I'm like, the batteries are dead. Awesome. So I have it in here, but I put batteries on my list. This specific one takes 4D batteries, I believe it is. So um, I don't know. I just need to go and do that in case I have a power outage or something. And then over to the left-hand side, there's also big changes over here. So in the closet, I am a big fan of the huggable hangers. However, in the closet, I like to use these kind of more plasticky, slippy hangers, but I like the thicker tubed ones. I just really, really like those. These are extras for if I get another jacket or if a guest comes to stay and wants to hang up their coat. So I just have a few extra here. I also have my hanging organizer, which was over on the right hand side before, but I switched it up a little bit. Also, you'll notice that the other bins are gone and I will share why. The more and more I kind of played around with the different setup, the bins were actually way too tight for the holes. So it was kind of problematic that I couldn't like pull them out nicely or even easily at all. So I had these on hand and these are from Target and they are the Room Essentials brand. This is actually the same brand that I ended up going with for my guest room closet clean out. So I will link that up in a card if y'all are interested in watching that. But I do have a couple of different things inside of here. So in here, in this one, I have some sunglasses and insect repellent and things like that. In this one, it's like full to the brim of doggy bags. <laughs> um, I just bought a bunch of these on Amazon. They're like the Amazon Basics one. Sorry, it's like hard to focus. Focusing is hard sometimes. They're, mm, no, okay, well, whatever. It says Amazon Basics on it, but I got a ton of them because this is my last roll of doggy poo bags. And I was like, oh gosh, I need some more poo bags. Over here is just some tools that I wanna have in the home. Over here is what I use for my dog's feet and bum. <laughs> a little TMI, but that's all right. And um, I like to actually, here, there's just like a little comb here too for the dog, but I don't really use that too often. Um, these are the ones I use. They are just the Target brand up, or the up and up, baby wipes, the unscented. Sometimes he has little accidents, so I have to clean them up when we come in from our walks or his paws are really muddy. And the unscented ones just work really, really well for him. And I always like to store these upside down because if I store them the other way, I feel like they dry out quite a bit and I don't use them every day. In the spring, I use them basically every day, but not right now. And these do like pop out just a little bit from the organizer, but I kind of don't mind it. Um, over here is some white duct tape that I showed recently. I think that video will be up for, for this one. I showed recently in a Dollar Tree haul, and then I have this like random doorstop thing that I don't know why I have it. I don't know if it was left here from the previous owner or not, but I wanna like remember to think about that and maybe there was a door I was supposed to put that on. I don't remember. <laughs> And then here is all of my rain gear currently. I have a umbrella and then here also again from that Dollar Tree haul is these rain ponchos. I need to put a couple of these in the car, but for right now I'm putting them in here. And then these two areas are just 
nothing's there. I have these little poopy bags that we're working on at the moment, but um, beyond that, there's nothing there. I also have some, like, I call these, like, my rags. These are just towels that don't really go with anything, so I put them in here to wipe off Doyle's, like, if he gets, like, really muddy paws, um, because I just don't care about these, and I can always just throw them in the wash. There's actually two more of these kind of behind here, too. So in the spring, Usually it's the spring, sometimes even the late fall too. His paws get really, really gross, so I'm using these basically one a day, or maybe one every other day. And then over here is the bin that I use the most, and this is Doyle's bin. So this is all of his stuff. So I've got his collar, which I will leave a link down below if you are interested. And I've got something really funny to show you guys. I actually just got him a new tag and it's amazing. It's from a seller on Etsy and I absolutely love it. And if you love it, I'll leave a link down below. You can get it engraved on the other side. I elected not to. I just thought this was hilarious. So I was like, I have to buy this. And I believe it comes in a bunch of different colors and um, you get to choose your font as well. And she's got a, I think it's a woman. Um, I believe that she's got a bunch of different other sayings as well. Um, this is the retractable leash that we're currently using we will be moving into this leash pretty quickly and then I have his old collar um, in here as well so I like to keep a backup of another leash and another collar just in case something happens moving down in the organizer I have some tissues I have actually two boxes of tissues in each of these bins this side I don't have anything. I know it looks a little wonky on the bottom. Those are actually long enough for boots, but I elected not to have anything in there just because it just wouldn't serve me right. Let me crouch down here. What I did is this bin um, I got, I don't know from where, maybe Amazon a while back, and this houses all of my guest slippers. And I know that's crazy that I have guest slippers, but I do. This is kind of a look, see at all of them. Especially in the winter time in my home, since I don't have a basement and I'm on actually like a cement slab, the floor is very cold and regardless of how I heat my house, it's a very cold and very hard floor, especially in the winter time. So I offer my guests slippers so they can be a little bit more comfortable. Also at the very bottom is this little mat that I have. I think I got that at like a home goods or something quite a while ago. And then I have this white two-tiered shoe shelf that works really well for all of my shoes that I wear pretty regularly. I do have some other shoes in my master closet, which if you guys wanna see a little master closet like clean out or whatever, I will put a link up above for y'all. But I do have some shoes in there, mostly heels and things like that that I don't wear on a daily basis. But I do have my snow boots because I need those for the winter time. And then over here to the left, I did not get rid of any of my jackets, but being in Minnesota, we need lots of different jackets for lots of different seasons. So this is the jacket I'm currently wearing most of the time, especially like late nights and early mornings, just because it's a little bit cooler outside, but it's not bad. And then um, I've got a bunch of different ones. They used to be in like a specific order. They're really not at the moment and that's all right. And then I have a little cedar block right here to just keep everything fresh. So that is a look inside of my entryway closet redo. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye guys. Well folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs>